It was a live painting battle, um, and there was ten competitors, and it was like two art battles. So it was like five artists pissed, pitched against each other. First off, you had um, like the models came out, and they were dressed like completely crazy. They had these great big kind of hairdos on and gold shorts, and they kind of pranced through. So this was kind of a whole kind of theatre thing, which obviously uh, Miss McGarvey thought would be quite fun to go to, <coughs> to the school and kind of show you guys what, you know, what, what I've been doing. Who can I have as a victim who wants to be drawn? So I've just got a random amount of um, paints here, so whether I've got the right colours or not, we'll, we'll see. I just kind of decide what colours, um, you know, I feel like I want to work with and I'll pick up some of the colours. I tend to draw people um, in motion generally, so it, what I try to strive for is um, the least marks on the paper. I'll start off quite often and I'll do a detailed drawing with every, you know, every detail of somebody, but then afterwards I'll enjoy painting it as fast as possible to get and getting you know less and less detail you know less and less details but catching the the essence of somebody yeah. all you need to do is just to get a quick impression of how you know how the clothes sitting on the on the body I'm not gonna you know paint for a really long time but um you see that what I like to get is more, you can come and look if you like, is the kind of um, movement and just kind of a quick feel of, of, of somebody and how they're, you know, they're standing. Um, just recently I had a model who was um, a yoga instructor and she was doing lots of yoga poses for me and I was doing fast, fast sketches um, of her moving and why she was talking. And, um, and I videoed her and took photos and things as well. Because when you're, when you're drawing like, you know, like this, it's like you're trying to catch an essence, you're trying to almost spark, um, you know, your observation of, um, of how you're feeling, about, you know, what, how the person's feeling. It's not just how the, you know, every single detail of, you know, where their cheekbone is. You're, you're almost trying to catch a, like an essence and a feeling as well reduce it down so you're you know you're literally getting one paint line that is the arm coming across um, and then you know some maybe some brush strokes coming here and then the whole line of the body and it's almost like one big brush stroke which I could never have done if I hadn't have worked out exactly how the human form was within the pencil sketches if you look at some of the you know the artists that I, I really respect um, they tend to um, They'll draw something, and then they go, oh, it's not quite white. They draw it again. And it's almost the line that was there before that makes the line that they're, you know, they're now drawing more interesting. It's making it more interesting because you're seeing their process. Number one, you've got to, in art, anything creative, you've got to be really prepared for rejection. But it's how you deal with it. One person does like it. One person doesn't like it. It doesn't take anything away from it. You only need enough people to like it for you to be making money in that particular, you know, if that's the career you want to do, you've got to have only enough people to get you started off. Do anything creative, whether it's fashion, whether it's writing, you just have to have tunnel vision because you're showing as many people as possible, collaborate with as many people as possible, to, to the end result is that people will start coming to look at what you're doing. Whenever you're creating something, there's always that bit of sense of fear that you're going to fail. But if you actually kind of make the decision, if I fail, so what? Uh, you know, it's a piece of paper and some paint, I can do another one, and I'll do it better next time. But you can't do anything well if you don't love doing it, I'd, I'd say. So when you choose what you want to, you know, what, which direction you want to go in life, try and choose something you really love. You might not be the best at it, but actually you'll put more time into doing it because you enjoy doing it, so you will become the best at it.